crap what a mess. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Hopefully this will be a, a quickie. Just uh, give you guys an update on everything going on. So uh, we got this guy right here, which I bottled this uh, past Saturday. That is my SJ Pour Challenge beer. So uh, I do have brew day vi video and whatnot of that one, which I'm hoping to get up to date. Got six and a half gallons of mead in this one. Uh, I got my rye barley wine bracket still going. This is my uh, my uh, cranberry uh, traditional mead that I'm doing up for the uh, Canadian Sasquatch uh, mead challenge. So I need to get that one bottled. But things I've learned is don't use cranberry honey for uh, for traditional mead. It's it's not all that great. So, uh, but. I can salvage it a little bit, so uh, everybody will get to taste it and see what it's all about. My winter warmer is over there. My prickly pear mead right here. Can't really see too much on that, but I do have a little bit of it right there as well. Nice, gorgeous color. So yeah, so uh, I got me a couple of these guys. I trashed the place. So I got the uh, the three gallon, the five gallon. Good for starting for now. Been going crazy making some uh, wood crates as well. I've got six of them now for holding my bottles and whatnot. So let's uh, go out and I haven't shown the garden in a while, so I'm gonna do that. I'm not very well prepared for this. It's dark. I know. Gotta grab a bottle opener. Gotta grab a cup. Because the beers are outside. So yeah, so uh, <clears throat> hopefully everybody out there is doing well and annoying cat toys. And uh little little saddened by the fact that uh the SJ4 challenge is being delayed so long this year, but uh, that's okay because uh, my uh, entry is well, it's another Braggot, and it's uh, but it's also a Grit, so it's a Grit Braggot Braggot Grit, so it's a Braggot with no hops. So, uh, yeah, my uh, brew day footage will show more on that. So, here, my blood orange, it actually is producing this year. And then ghost chilies. These are the ones I grew last year, cut them back, and well, producing. Rubber plant, Swiss chard. So we're doing uh, square foot gardening. So we got a bunch of veggies and marigolds in this one. Sweet mint, more Swiss chard. Chocolate mint, more veggies. That tall one is actually stevia. Uh, and then a bunch of herbs and strawberry, my other ghost chili. And then this guy over here is my hops. So there they are. So they're both Zeus. And I built this this weekend. It needs a little bit more reinforcing. Tried doing it with just the uh, what I had on hand and uh, wasn't quite enough so I will I need to go get some one by fours to reinforce it. And here we have a celestial fig tree. And where's the fig? It's in there someplace. Well, that's sad. It's not there. Huh. There's one right there. <clears throat> so, yeah, so. See, here's another one of these guys. The little wooden crates I made. And here we are, the beer fridge. I'm gonna go for a Sasquatch ginger beer. Because it's the only one that I have that I can kind of do one handed at this point. 
the poor. Ooh. Ah. It's a crappy pour. That's okay. It's a tasty beer. So yeah, so this is the one that I designed up uh, last year for when I was doing crawfish boil. And well, I did another crawfish boil this year, so uh, I brewed it up again because everybody seemed to really, really like it. So uh, cheers, everybody. A lot of foam. So yeah, it's a five gallon batch and I use two and a half pounds of ginger in it. Uh, most recipes call for four to six ounces. Yeah, I like ginger. Uh, the majority of it goes in towards the first third of the boil so it uh, gets the nice sweet ginger out of it and then last five or ten minutes put in the rest of the ginger so you get the ginger heat from it so yeah and, uh, that's pretty much it what's going on in what's going on in the bottle room do a real quick over there just a whole lot of bottles there's some more of my uh, wooden crates and milk crates and yeah all these are full Ooh, black. So that's, these are the bottles that I actually painted because they're clear. Uh, they are actually, I don't have any, oh yeah I do. So they're actually these guys, 187 mil champagne bottles that I painted black because I wanted six ounce, six ounce bottles for my rye barley wine bracket because nobody really needs more than that on that one. Although it was a failure, uh, as it was supposed to be 18 or 20% ABV, but it's only 14. So yeah, that, that's, that was a bit of a failure, so that'll go under my Angry Squatch uh, brand, I guess. So yeah, so just quick update of the garden, making everybody sick with motion sickness and crappy camera work and real fast so uh, I will be doing a sending out a message to everybody that's in the uh, me challenge make sure that you're in and try and get everybody on the same page um, like I said I still have to bottle mine I'm hoping to do that this weekend and then uh, yeah so we'll still be on schedule for uh, doing shipping uh, within the next month or so. So uh, cheers to everybody out there. Hope everybody's doing very well. And uh, be sure to have a pint of awesome because I know I will. Well, I'll be having another one. Cheers, everyone.